All right, the Royal Connect here in Rampur is one of the big areas of focus. The Nawab against the wannabe Nawab, Azam Khan, who enjoys a cult status, a demigod status, really, here in Rampur. The Congress candidate from here in Rampur, Nawab Kazam Ali Khan. Navid Mia, thanks very much for speaking to Headlines Today Live. Uh, how polarized is this particular election? See, every election is polarized to a certain extent. Uh, the 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 wannabe nawab that you are talking about is a is a is a word which is given by the media, not by the public. They don't consider him anything. But he wants to destroy the nawabs. He, he wants to. I may want to go to the moon, but it's not possible for me to be you know to get to the moon. He may want anything, but it is the public who eventually decides wh where it should go and who it should support. You know, he's been threatening in the villages, he's been threatening people, he's been using the district administration to, uh, to as, as Samajwadi party workers. I got the, the last, the, his DM and SP out and the election commission got new DM SP posted here because they knew that they would try, he would try to influence the, you know, the electorate and the voters. Uh Given the amount of hate speech that has happened this election, you've got, you know, you, uh, I spoke to Azam Khan yesterday on headlines today and he said there's no communal speech, the election commission uh, is taking is action against me without see, hearing me. If you look at Rampur, we have Bareilly on one side, Muradabad on the other and Ruddapur in the north. All three cities have had communal riots in this government and this Azam is responsible for it. And if it hadn't been for our family, even Rampur would be burning because for him, dividing society and uh, uh, ruling politically is what is uh, what is his agenda all the time. That's what he wants. That's what he did in Muzaffarnagar, but it backfired on him. Who is your political fight then BJP. really against? For sure, BJP. I fought because they're just waiting and watching. They're no, hoping no, no, for no, a no, split no. in the Muslim vote. I have uh, I have fought five elections before, and in, uh, no matter which party I contested from, the runner-up and the the second position has always been with the BJP in all five. You know, so even this time it's BJP. You know, the, the, there's always this constant talk of the Modi wave, the anti-Azam wave, the anti-Samajwadi party wave. First, are you a believer in any waves and do you believe there's any wave right now in Rampur and in UP? I'm not, I'm, I'm not even, personally, I don't agree with caste politics. But caste politics is a reality in politics today, so one has to accept it. I'm, I'm not a, f a believer of waves, but waves do happen and, uh, and elections do get influenced to a certain extent. The Modi wave is there for sure, but in Rampur, it's more anti-Azam wave than a pro-Modi wave, you know. People are fed up with them. If you don't have food to eat, what, what can you do? I mean, your priority is that. To ensure that your house runs, to ensure that your family survives, to ensure that your kids get better education. You know, to ensure that you retain your job. These are the priorities in life. Mm. When there is a calamity, when there is a, when there is a problem here, no political party and no political leader comes to sit with the public. They only come once in five years when there's an election. So all political parties feel the candidates. But then they disappear. Where have they been for the last two years? I'm the only one who's been vocal against the minister's policy, against the government's policy, because I'm a taxpayer too. I pay 40% tax to the government. So my money is being utilized, is being used for the minister's personal trust called Johar Trust. Why should public fund be used for his personal use? Here the infrastructure is in bad shape. Okay. The rural, rural infrastructure is negligible. So instead of the government investing there, they are, in, they are pumping money into his personal trust. But do you believe? And the Samajwadi uh, candidate is also a director of that trust. You see? You, you've fought on tickets from, you know, some of the other parties yeah, as well, the SP and the BSP yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're from the Congress right yeah, now. Yeah. How does that make you feel when, uh, you know, there is a sentiment that there's an anti-Congress wave in the country? Do, do you feel the vulnerable? Local issues are always dominating, dominating any election. Like here, the local issue is more important. So I feel that the people look at local issues first. They first look at their own home. They right. look at, the, like I just told you, national issues come later. Okay. I mean, every district, every constituency has their own equations, her political equations, social equations, cultural yes. equations, caste equations. So that varies from constituency to constituency. You, and you cannot say 2009, this was the trend, so this should be now. Right. Because every election is different from the other. Okay.
Thank you very much for speaking the headlines today. Uh, that was Navid Bihar Nawab uh, Kazam Ali Khan, the Congress candidate uh, from here uh, in Rampur. He says he's very confident. He says there's no real polarization. There's some polarization in UP, uh, but uh, he doesn't really feel vulnerable about uh, a larger anti-Congress wave. He says this election is being fought on local issues. We're taking a quick break. We're back in just two minutes on this special live broadcast from across the country on the most crucial phase of this election. 121 seats going to the polls.